Cheese Legends, Sammy from Short and Sour Beer Reviews. Got a uh, hazy pale here called Easy Roller. It's by Blackman's out of Torquay. They're based on the Great Ocean Road in Australia. It's a bit of a uh, like an official beer or a collaboration with the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. And Cadell Evans is like, yeah, Tour de France cyclist, like an Aussie legend. I just thought the can artwork was rad as well. Looks cool. And, yeah, this race is, um, I think it comes up in like two weeks' time. It's an annual event, and, yeah, it's like, Pretty cool for tourism in the area. You get a lot of like really good riders come down for it. So yeah, I thought good time to uh chuck her up on the uh tube. Oh, she's a bit fizzy. <laughs> How are you, dude? Good to see you. A bit of a late night review for me. I'm on Arvo ship, so I thought, why not crack a little beer after work? So yeah, this would be like a it'd be like the official beer of the event. I could just imagine like a ban in stalls and whatever around the uh where the race is and the cyclists probably get into it afterwards. So, yeah, colour-wise, it's like a light straw, like a, maybe a slight orange tinge, very light body, one finger head. And, yeah, this is this glassware, this is Crafty Cabal. The Crafty Pint is like a, um, he's like a, I don't know how you explain it, he's like a, a beer dude that promotes all the breweries and, you can join like a membership service and you get discounts and stuff like it's a really cool thing. So yeah, light body, straw in colour, like white orange. Yeah, it's it's definitely a crusher just by the look of it. Slightly cloudy. We'll go for a smell. Light tropical fruit. Touch of pineapple, I reckon. Yeah, a little bit of orange. <laughs> I've got a fly buzzing around. Slightly grassy. I'd say it'd have like a like a biscuity malt. Going for a taste. Cheers, peeps. Hope everyone's well. Actually getting a um like a slight hair vibe. It's definitely like pineapple and passion fruit. I'm not sure if it says what hops are in it. I just reckon the artwork's so cool. That's pretty much like the jersey he wears when he does like local rides and stuff. Yeah, it's only 4% too, so yeah, definitely a crusher. Cheers, Luke. How are you, dude? Yeah, I'm getting like a um, like orange and pear. I'd say like pineapple and passion fruit. It's like lightly grassy. 
Definitely light body on the like on the palate as well as like just appearance. Definitely a beer you just smash like. It's summertime here, so like yeah, this sort of thing, especially in an event outside, like people would just crush this all day. <laughs> See, I'm already probably two thirds into it. <laughs> I've only just started. It's um yeah definitely more sweet than dry. Um yeah not no not like no sign of bitterness. Very light if any. Yeah. <laughs> I could go one right now, but I've got some uh, beers from Pahala out of um, Estonia, boys, so there'll be some reviews coming up. They're always good stouts. Carbonation's probably like medium. It's definitely like a crusher, like it, yeah, I reckon like that 4%, you can't really expect too much. Like it's, you're not going to get like flavour punching you in the face, but. Blackmans do, like they do a good job with just sort of that mid-range ABV. I really like their um like their West Coast IPAs and their lagers. They do like really good hoppy lagers. They've sort of just like they're a bit behind other breweries with like going down the hazy road. But I actually like I respect that because they've always like had really good Westies and lagers, so it's sort of like good on them. Fuck that flies annoying. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but man. Cheers, Simo. How are you, brother? Yeah, I remember Jimmy was there. I've had like quite a bit of them like over the years, but not for a while. So I'm sort of hoping like if anyone can get French toast banger or um Mud cake banger. Like, I'll do a review with them. I actually thought when I went live at this time, it's probably a good time for the UK peeps. Because, yeah, a lot of my um, lives lately have been more suited to, like, Aussies or Americans. And I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> sign up to StreamYard because I'm, I'm already at my usage limit, apparently. I did like a live hangout that went for like seven hours or something yesterday, so that doesn't help. So you boys in the chat, like, are you like, do you guys, is the Tour de France sort of popular in the UK, if, even if you're not into cycling? Like, are you, like, if I say Cadell Evans, like, do you guys know who that is? Because, yeah, he's like a bit of a legend here. And, yeah, like, the Great Ocean Road's, like, one of the most sort of scenic places in the world, like, world-renowned just for, yeah, like, picturesque views and stuff. So, like, it's a pretty pretty rad race. Like, it looks really good on TV and stuff. Have a cheeky stout at work, brother. <laughs> Pardon me. 
Yeah, Bumpy's featured quite regularly on my R locks. Just yeah, good timing. Yeah, I've always been a big fan of it. Like, I definitely don't cycle these days, but, yeah, when I was younger, like, I used to, like, be right into cycling and, like, did some triathlons and stuff. And, yeah, like, I've just, like, even just watching it just for the the spectacle and the views and stuff's unreal, but, yeah. The shit thing, like as an Aussie watching it, you got to like stay up at like like middle of the night, sort of thing. Yeah, I'd imagine in Europe, like people would love it. It'd be good to go to, like you see all the like people on the side of the road carrying on and that like it'd be a good spectacle yeah that's weird they keep changing it up how are you sure It's definitely, uh, yeah, as I said, like a crusher. And, yeah, like I'm not used to drinking beers that are only like 4%. It sounds silly because <laughs> most of your average Joe would only drink beers around that ABB. But yeah, it says the race is the 26th to the 28th of January. And, yeah, they actually, it seems like that they must ride past where this brewery is. So, yeah, Blackman's are like, they're on, they're originally Torquay and they're, um, Torquay's like on the surf coast where Bells Beach is. I don't know if anyone's seen Point Break, but Bells Beach is that Aussie beach they talk about with the huge waves. Um, so, yeah, their original brewery's on like one of the main streets there and they must ride past the brewery, but they also have, like, a huge facility now in Geelong. They're doing really well. Hmm. Yeah, this would be one of those beers, like, I mean, yeah, obviously it's made for the – it's probably made for the event and won't be, like, a year-round sort of thing. But, um. Yeah, like if you had a similar beer to this, it'd be an awesome beer to sort of start a night with. Or if you're like, say, if you were driving, you could only have like two beers, so it could be good. It's like, yeah, lightly fruity, but yeah, no bitterness, no dankness. <laughs> yeah, imagine that just cuts me off halfway through a review. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's an awesome night for a beer because it was quite warm here today. And thankfully I had a good night at work because work's been fucking terrible lately. Yeah, I actually feel like, yeah, there's like, there's some breweries out there and like cafes and stuff that it's almost like they're just flooded with cyclists, like there's they'll have this particular hangout that they all go to. And there's a brewery, um, we've got like a nearby forest where I am, and the brewery like, um, they're based right near some mountain bike trails. And, yeah, just the amount of cyclists that go there, especially over summer and that, like, just on a random weekend, you'll go down there and, like, 
want a drink or a feed and you can't even get a seat because there's like 200 cyclists hanging around. Most of the time they're like city folk that just go down there because of the cool trails and stuff. But, yeah, like if I was to say based on style for this beer, like score-wise it'd be like a probably a solid four. Certainly a beer like I'd go again. It's just, yeah, like you, you don't expect much from a 4% pale. It's like, yeah, it's made for what it is. It's normally the case, like a lot of collaborations with events or like, like music stuff or sporting or anything like that, they're always sort of like lighter beers because they want to try and appeal to like the general public and not just craft people. Yeah, I reckon he's done well in Commonwealth Games. I'm not sure about Olympics. And, yeah, like in the Tour de France and that, he's normally, like, finished pretty well. Cheers, Sean. Good to see you, mate. Jimmy, how the fuck are you, brother? Miss you. Yeah, I was ooh, yeah, I was gonna say like that's weird as like because you always see them in Paris on that last day and they're just cruising. That's yeah, like <laughs> you just check like when they're just sort of cruising around. Like I mean, they're still going, they're still having a fair crack like for most people, but they're in for what they do. They're just cruising and. You're pretty much just like watching all the surroundings and stuff in the crowd on that last day. But yeah, that'd be weird not being in Paris. <laughs> you dickheads. Appropriate, appropriate flag in the background for this beer. Come on, Cadell. <laughs> uh, yes. So, yeah, I worked till about 10.30 tonight. And then I walked home and probably got home just probably just before 11. And... Uh, yeah, like just took the dogs for a bit of a like a bit of a wander around and did some chores and I was like, fuck it, I feel like a beer, it's quite hot. <laughs> yeah, and you never show it, you always show the other ones you dickhead. So, yeah, my glass is empty. <laughs> and uh, this is some sort of live review for this beer, so I better end it there. Whether I'll be back or not, I'm not sure. But, yeah, get around this race when it's on. be pretty cool. And uh, if you're in the vicinity, try the beer. But, yeah, more importantly, get around Blackman's. They're a good brewery. Cheers, peeps. Thanks for joining.
and we'll see you on the next one.